Coming up, rubber trees and getting organized. Welcome to episode two. Don't I look snazzy? I've made the traveler's gear from Hephaestus. I have. I don't know why I did, but uh, it was a quest and I made it and I've closed that quest off. I think it gives me some sort of buffs when you're traveling quite. But we have also been mining and you can see behind me, uh, these are called packages from the packaging mod and they're like shulker boxes, except you only could put one item in. So you can see I've got 229. I've got nearly 500 diorite because if you put diorite into a milling machine, it gives you quartz. Well, 25% of quartz, 25% chance of quartz. And that is the only way to get quartz in this pack. So we're going to need to work out diorite at some point. And the milling machines are what I want to make, um, mainly because we can turn gravel into sand and we can turn cobblestone into gravel. So we can set up a system where we have got infinite gravel, infinite sand because because after that, I want to set up sifting things, create sifts, sifters. And these guys give us resources because I don't really want to mine forever. Um, so if we put uh, gravel, for example, through a sifter, we get a chance of getting iron nuggets and flint. If we cobblestone, we get a chance of getting tin nuggets. If we put silt through, we get lots of resources. So we've got to figure out silt. If we put deep slate through, we get redstone. Uh, if we put that through. So you can see there's all sorts of things we get. If we put sand through, we get mob drops like string and bones. So bone meal. Uh, what else do we get? Uh, from basalt, we get ender pearls. So we want to get into sifting. And to get into sifting, we need the bits to make a sift. So we need to make, I'm going to make three. I think I need three. One to do the cobblestone. One to do the gravel. One to do the cobblestone to gravel. One to do the gravel to sand. And another one to do the diorite to thingy. So we need andesite casings and cogwheels. And you'll also see I have on me brown toolbox and the wrench because we've got some gold so i can put the toolbox down and then if i press g i've locked this to g i can now select the casings and they go into my inventory and if i just hit g again and then the release they go back in and i can access this from a bit further away so what did we need for these millstones and cogs and stone probably so i can hold g anywhere little cogs um i want more than that though don't i so i need to get them all out and i've got granite so we want to make six of these so you in the middle was it Cog above, cog above. Hello, the thingy, my bob. A two, three, three of them. Really good. And now I can put my things back in my toolbox, and I can use my wrench to break my toolbox. And there's my uh, haha. -ha, see you later. Three, four, five. Haha. -ha. Sleep, and then set this up. Hello, Jonathan. What can I do for you? Off you pop. Thank you. Um, I wanted to set this up, so I'm going to put one there, for example. I'm going to put another one there and another one there. But I've got crude storage units. So this is from the Tech Reborn mod, and I'm I believe you can push and pull from these. So behind this guy, I'm going to hopefully, if I put a crude storage uh, that way, no, I don't, I didn't want to put you in there. there. There's configuration for these guys and you can push and pull auto output, auto input. So I'm hoping that I can, once I've got this rigged up to cogs and things, cobblestone in there and get gravel out there. So let's just go down here. I want my shaft to come up there. So I need my water wheel. And we're going to do the whole water wheel thing again. You know, why wouldn't we? So my shaft's going up the middle there. So the water wheel center is there so i need a water wheel and that is in here just one water wheel please and you're going to go whoop. i'm going to put a block there and a bucket of water please and bucket of water goes there you start spinning get some char and small cogwheel one two three four five that's gonna be enough yeah i need to eat aha and now if i put you on there like this we are spinning okay now let's get some cobblestone in fact some um, yeah let's just get some cobblestone and can we configure this guy so these crude stones storages can hold 32 stacks of stuff and wrench and t unit to retain its contents oh and i got a wrench so i think can ah okay you can pick it up oh, okay you can pick it up with the stuff in it it's very useful um but we don't want to do that i want to do it okay and configure slots so i want to push out the back auto okay configure uh is that the back or the bottom that's the bottom isn't it that's the back oh look that's got something in it so and i want in on the back auto input and it's got gravel in it Aha, look, we are converting our cobblestone into gravel. Love it. So if I take a load of this, I should be able to... It did it. It just put it all in there. There's 700 odd in there now. So that's going to convert that into gravel. Aha. So I should be able to put another guy here like that and get another crude storage and put you there and you there. I could take out the four gravel from here. Five gravel. Pop you in there and configure you to output from the back 
and you are going to input from the front input from the back auto input so that should get sand do you think yes it got sand so we now have infinite cobblestone infinite gravel and infinite sand at some point like i've said we will hook these all up together so we don't actually have to move stuff manually but i can't get belts yet because belts need rubber so kelp won't be a problem to get a dry kelp but we're going to need rubber and that means rubber taps and rubber trees and things like that which we are not ready for yet so now i'm going to hook up the last one of these to do diorite and i think to do that i'm gonna pop you on the top there you on there push down to it is it two more crude storages you're gonna go there no and you are going to auto input from the back you are going to go there and auto output from the back and then we're going to go and get some diorite and we're going to put in there and hopefully this will get quartz talk amongst yourselves while we wait <laughs> and just like that we have completed another quest um i think we have anyway yes we should have completed the millstone tasks very good that gives us some diorite and we should have completed the quartz quest which doesn't give us anything right put you back in there don't need you on me you can put the diorite in there we're getting gravel we're getting sand right all's good what's next on my to-do list so i've done a small little tweak i realized that i didn't really have infinite gravel because i was using the gravel from here to put into there so i've actually set this up so they both take cobblestone so the cobblestone is going into this millstone and then the millstone this storage is pulling from the millstone the gravel and putting it straight into this millstone so we get the sand so we do now have infinite sand infinite gravel infinite cobblestone infinite di diorite no not diorite infinite andesite the next thing on the list is a few of the mechanical objects we've got quest lines to do the rolling mill the mixer the saw and the encased fan i'm going to make all of those up but i really want to get the mixer and the saw done because the mixer is needed for grout so we can get tinkers really going and the mechanical saws i want for my tree farm because yes of course we're going to have a tree farm all of these are up on my to-do list and um let's do the saw first they're all going to take oh so that's iron sheets and andesite casing the mixer is andesite casing basin rolling mill okay right we should have everything for these so in fact i need to go and get my toolbox i also need to sort food out at some point so toolbox can go down because i want to collect out all of those all of, no i don't need them i need my small cogs andesite alloy brass metal sheets whatever they were so let's make up uh iron ingots ingot i want to do three saws look at that look i could do three saws that means i need more andesite casings there we go and now i should be able to straight into my inventory and now we should be able to make the basin for our mixing excellent we should be able to make the mixer i need you got all the stuff for you good and i can make the mixer excellent can i make the rolling mill i need two shafts i did need shafts there we go can we make the rolling mill we can okay so we've made you 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 uh encased fan we need to make now so the fan blades the propellers are that and i need another shark very good in case then aha now i bet i need to drop some of these on the floor yes i do right so let's just drop them all on the floor and the basin and the rolling mill so we've done that i get some grass very useful they've all been ticked off good let's go set the mixer up oh i probably oh no i don't need a depot for the mixer but what i am going to do is i'm going to put the mixer right next to that guy and i should be able to um i get some small cogs and i can replace you with a small cog i could put a small cog there and there aha now the mixer is turning whether it's fast enough to do what we need it to do we'll find out but hold down g press this button here and it will return everything from create back to the inventory now we've got a hand crank somewhere where did i put the hand crank because i want to try out the saw now if i plop you, you which way do you face when ah, you face that way okay so if i plop you there and then pop the hand crank there it doesn't hand crank it i reckon if we go to the the other end of this tree farm and we pop the saw there and we pop the hand crank on the end and it should chop down the whole tree and it does <laughs> and then we repeat now clearly this isn't an automated tree farm quite clearly but it will be soon we just need to get some
some glue going and a few other bits of bobs. But for now, this helps me because I don't have to worry about logs being stuck up the top. I've just discovered something very, very cool with this. Um, if you hold down shift and place it, it places it in the opposite direction. Makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? La -da 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 -da. Do -do 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 -do. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay asleep pool. Okay, copyright strike. Sorry. <laughs> now, one thing that uh, was a bit troubling was I couldn't mine the diamonds with my iron pick. Just need to repair my other pick. But uh, looking at the quest, it looks like I might be able to mine them with the mechanical drill. So we're going to try and mine some diamonds. And where were the diamonds? They were... Oh, there's some up there. Look. Oh, oh didn't want to go down there. Right. So let's go and see if this actually does what i think it's going to do um i haven't got any blocks on me i don't think no right let's get some blocks so if my theory is right and according to the quest book i pop you there pop my hand crank on it um which of course i can't because i'm in the way put my hand crank on it and turn this doing something is it going to drop the diamond that is the question are we all ready to see it dropped the diamond yes we have completed the drill for diamond quest <laughs> that's what we have to do then and what i can do now i think is go back home and at my tinker station my stone pickaxe i think i can give it a diamond tip and this is now able to mine diamonds directly i think i think i've got to make a quicker way of getting down to this thing up here are the other diamonds go on yes oh this is good news and i believe that i can still repair this pickaxe with stone repair kits <laughs> so i've got a diamond level pickaxe that i can repair with stone top tip for you there then use the drill to get a diamond tip tool with the diamond and now you've got a stone pickaxe that can mine diamond oh dear me um i appear to have died so i was trying uh unsuccessfully so far i've been trying to just make a quicker way to get down to my uh mine um and this is not going to go well i know it isn't oh uh, no 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 oh dear oh dear um as i was saying uh i was just trying to go down to my mine and i wanted to get a quicker way down there so i've been digging out some space and and, you know all of that good stuff and then um, of course i fell yes i am i am a derp a big derpus uh maximus really so we've now got oh let's see now i've only got half health thankfully look see i dug all of this out and i thought this is really silly why don't i just go straight down to the, the area that i want to be in um and of course you should never dig straight down in minecraft yes i've got stairs here now as well um so we have derped very badly and uh, go go on and we are over here to get our stuff no it's a good test of the grave mod this um i don't know what grave mods in here um there is a grave mod and i got all my stuff back you we need to get up there um who we need to get should we just clear these death points uh let's be a quick way of clearing death isn't there uh, let's get rid of you uh, let's get rid of you see never happened um right back to my chores and the work is done <clears throat> uh, Yes, we are fine. We are fine. And we get down here in seconds. Uh, we don't get back up quite as quickly, though. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Still climbing. And yes, we're still climbing. But eventually, we make it back to the top. The next quest I want to complete needs me to get 100 logs. I've, my trees have grown and I've put them all really close together. I wonder whether this is going to chop down the lot in one go. Uh, that'll be a no. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Um. yes, we get to do this again. And will it do it all in one go? No, it doesn't even do all of them. Well, that's disappointing. Forget to replant your saplings. <clears throat> Very important. Eventually, we'll have a tree farm do this for us. Can't wait. And we should have the 100 logs, I hope. Let's have a quick look ski at the... I've just noticed has the texture pack stopped working it's probably been like this for ages hasn't it and you'll all be shouting at me the texture pack stopped working um i need to look back over my footage to see when it stopped working i don't like this orange as much as the darker brown but anyway uh what we're we looking at oh yeah did we finish the it's good for business we did and what that means is we get one of each sapling and hopefully one of them and one of them is a rubber sapling aha that means we can start to get some rubber anyone anyway, think i had planned this so i I'm going to plant the rubber sapling and we'll leave it there uh, until it grows and we'll see what we can do with the rubber. But next is time for grout. I am grout. I am Groot. Um, and you get a load of stuff. I get a sniffer egg. Ooh, sniffer egg. That's just actually been released in 
1.20 so i guess they put it in this pack very early this is 1.18 pack we get a load more rewards so i need to get 32 grout and grout is uh, a combination of andesite alloy zinc ingot and gravel in a mixer and i need what did i need 32 and is it a one-to-one -one? it is yeah one-to-one -one basically or eight so if i get 32 gravel and eight is four recipes so four andesite alloy four zinc ingots and 32 gravel all right so we've got tin but we don't have any zinc um which one are you zinc that's tin your zinc let's take out eight of them and get them cooking andesite alloy did i need uh have i got any on me no okay so we need to make some more andesite alloy compound we've got five compounds so that should be enough do we do we do and we've got plenty of gravel because we're getting gravel automatically da, 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 da. Do, do, do. aha four of them and one more of these please that should uh if my calculations are right we should get go do your thing you don't need heating do you it says no heating i'm sure no heating required okay maybe we need to put the gravel in first uh let's go do it in three batches then put the gravel in first right up oh it's not rotating enough okay so let's pop you all in and then use some gear ratios we'll use some gear ratios to speed this up so i want to get a large cog uh large cog cute and some shafts so if i swap you out for a large cog and then i put a small cog on you you should now be running twice as far i just need to line you up properly to go there i want to be able to see where you're going no not there okay you have to go there do you all right well we'll just pop you on top then no not there gordon bennett this is not going so well is it i just want you to go on top and now we are overstressed okay uh what happens if i just take you off okay look at that look we are making grout good 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 so i'm gonna need to separate this as its own water wheel by the looks of it I, we just made we've just made our grout Aha, that completes that so we get all of this stuff which is absolutely fabulous let me just pop that all straight in there we've got a sniffer egg which is going to hatch so we probably want to pop him somewhere he can wander around our town it's fairly safe pop you there and you will now start to uh hatch and we should have opened up the next chapter getting industrial this is where we really start to get into create we get rubber we get the automation stuff going tinkers going how exciting is this let's go and sleep right before we move on i want to really organize myself because you know over there it's quite far away from where everything's gonna be so i've kind of started to destroy these houses just preparing some storage areas this is going to be the storage to be able to craft the andesite compound and i'm just locking these drawers so you can lock them so it'll only contain clay balls and i'm configuring them so this is going to auto input from the back i think i've done did that actually save it uh auto input from the back it did uh this one i've locked and i think i've got it configured auto input from the back auto input from the back good right and this one locked and auto input from the back now you might think you're only going to be able to hold 2000 of those well behind us we've got two more so we're actually going to be able to hold nearly 6000 clay balls but i'm not going to lock these just going to say auto input from the back and auto output to the front so we're basically going to fill up in sequence and it will always push stuff to the front same for this one auto input from the back uh yep actually no this one we want to auto input from the bottom and the back doesn't matter and we're going to output to the front and we repeat that's done and now we're going to set up a system to be able to get the items in here now this is going to be the tricky one i think i haven't got the stuff to be able to do this yet but essentially i want to oh i've broken that okay essentially i want to come up here and you'll see i've made my uh, hole a little bit bigger so i want to get uh conveyor belts to come here and then a fan into a chute to push up into the bottom of there that's the theory um but we're just getting ready we haven't got the stuff to do that yet in order to do that we need some rubber and we need belts and we need encased fans and chutes and i'm now setting up uh something for the cobblestone gravel and sand and these things are storage buffers so they're a bit like the storage chest things the the crude storage but they can only hold one item so you can treat them like a pipe so i'm going to test this with a, a cobblestone and i'm going to set this one to uh, not have that in it i'm going to set this one to input from the front auto input enabled and output to the top auto output and oh and then this one is going to input from the bottom input from the bottom auto input and output 
output to the top output to the top and repeat for all of these apart from top one here that we set up earlier that's inputting from the bottom and outputting to the front so this should now move cobblestone from this chest into the front chest well that is taking the cobblestone down let's get a load more i know we've got quite a lot of cobblestone lying around yes quite a lot let's pop it all in this chest so you can see that's slowly moving it through and it's going up 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 up, up. what's it gonna look like it should have cobblestone in the front thing and cobblestone look at that going so we now have the capacity of that's going to be four thousand plus whatever can fit in that copper chest which is going to be quite a lot so we've got quite a large capacity for cobblestone so i'm going to repeat this for the gravel and sand and in fact i might repeat this for these three as well because this seems to work quite well and i can make these it just needs a lot of wood and sand and look it's working it's working and we're getting gravel and sand so we are finally getting ourselves organized let's do some rubber work so we can get some belts going right in preparation for moving items around i don't have access yet to the brass funnels brass funnels uh funnels brass funnels these guys they have the ability to filter items but they need electron tubes and electron tubes need uh rose gold and we're not anywhere near doing that sort of stuff yet so i thought i'd use these storage buffers and my plan is to lock them these are all set up so this should be set up to input from the front oh they're not set up input from the front and output to the back which is that one and this should push that clay ball into there which will effectively clay pull it out there but the only thing that's going to be allowed in there is clay balls so when we've got our all our things coming along the conveyor belt here with funnels on the front of these only clay balls will get pulled into this one and the same will go for you will lock you and the same will go for uh andesite and the same will go for sand and the same will go for gravel and the same will go for cobblestone so i lock all of them and then only those things should in theory go into those pipe systems to get pushed to the storage system so now we need the belts and the belts come from more than just dried kelp i'm afraid in this pack the belts come from free dried kelp and rubber and rubber comes from uh mixing sap and sap comes from rubber trees so you can get some sap you see i've got some here already i do need to sort my inventory out you see this rubber tree you see these these like orangey bits on them that's sap coming out and i can right click with my tree tap and i can collect the sap and it, this will always kind of it will regenerate it eventually um the other way you can do it is by breaking these logs and mixing them i think or milling them um is that another way to get the rubber or the sap if i mill the rubber logs so i'm hoping when i chop this down i get some more saplings and then we can plant some more rubber trees and we can continue this process so i'm going to uh chop this tree down now give me more saplings tell me oh loads of saplings look at that okay so we could actually set up a proper rubber tree farm here by the looks of it if i uh, i've got the saplings good um let's replant them for now we're just going to plant them in front of this lot we can plant them here can't we one there uh one there uh one there now if i need a millstone i need my own individual millstone because these are all being used so i've got a millstone um and i suspect if i put it on these cogs here we might break the system um we can put it actually here aha now let's um can i chuck you in there i can good and we probably want uh if i've got a crate on me i've got a storage unit on me good we can pop you there and say pull in from the back auto input and this will now start getting the sap we should have enough to make some belts now the hunt for kelp Doopy doopy doo. Um, I've got no. Oh, I've got a way out. Good. And I could see already. <laughs> didn't take long, did it? Let's go get a load. Well, that didn't take very long, did it? And I'm just going to replant a load because we're going to need a lot of kelp. Um, so I'm just going to get some growing. Whoops. Huh. Dry the kelp off in our furnace. Well, that's drying a quick look ski at our sap. Got 18 sap. That needs to be smelted. I think it's smelt. Oh, no, it's mixing. It needs to be mixed, doesn't it? Yes, we need to pop you in there. Do Dooby dooby doo. And we have 18 rubber. Do you mind? Um, thank you. Right, clear the quests. We got rubber, and for that, we're going to get another rubber sapling, some bone meal, and some dried kelp. Jolly good. We're going to plant three more saplings. Uh, I'll have that. Thank you very much. We will, of course, make a rubber tree farm. We've got more dried kelp. Okie dokie. So we should be able to make some belts. Well, we can make one belt, but I think we get from the crest reward. Oh, I've got to put it on the ground. Have I got, I've got to drop it, haven't I? Thank you very much. 
much. And from the Crest Reward, we get three more belts, which is very useful. Uh, should we make the engineer's goggles as well? I think we can make that. We need um, some glass and some gold sh gold sheet. Not any glass. No, but we do have sand. We have lots of sand. Ooh, sand. Do -do 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 -do. And we need a gold sheet, which means I've got to reconnect you. Um, what's going to be the best way to reconnect you? If I remove, remove you and we need a shark. Can reach it. Excellent. No, gearbox. Gearbox, please. Vertical gearbox. Vertical gearbox, please. There we go. Excellent. Return everything back to there. Okay, we should have the glass and we should be able to make the engineer's goggles. Haha! -ha! Awesome. These are very cool. Now we should be able to see the stress units that this is getting. 168, 160 stress units. Jolly good. And the last thing we need for my setup, I think, is seven andesite funnels. I might need more than that, actually. Um, but let's just just go with however many we can make oh it gives us two so i can get um get 14 that'll do me so we've got the belts we've got the debris what's it right let's see if we can set up moving our cobblestone first right so the plan for the cobblestone i haven't got my things on me let's just pop you there hopefully i can still reach you from here but i need my storage buffers uh storage unit storage buffers excellent so you are going to not do that i always do that don't i i need an empty hand is what i need so you are going to input from the top i'm not going to set that up yet but you're going to output back so it goes into this one so again so you're going to output to the back which is you and you are going to do the same so i'm going to put another one there and we are going to output to the back now i want my belt so shafts please uh there and you're going to run along so let's put a shaft there and you're going to run all the way along to there and then you are going to go not like that and then we have a belt from there to there. And I'm just right clicking if you don't know how to do this. So I'm going to have a belt from there. Will it reach? It won't reach. Okay, so that's fine. To there. And then we can have another guy from there to there. Okay. I'm going to funnel on the front of you. And the arrow is pointing in. So it's going in. And I'm going to put the andesite one on as well. And you're going in. Excellent. I'm going to have a storage unit thing there. No, uh, actually, we want a block there. Uh, let's put a block of glass there because it will look really pretty. And that's the only block I had on me okay and we are going to have a storage unit doohickey there and we are going to have a funnel there can connect to you can't you and you are going to input from the top input from the top auto input and output to the right auto out so if i put something in here like that oh because you're not running probably so water wheel action i think it's time to do some upright water wheel work Right, I hope I'm getting this right. Uh, of course, I need some buckets of water, but I think I could put water there. You'll spin. Hopefully, we're not flooding the area. Um, water there. Four water wheels going on here. Water there and water there. Excellent. All right, let's refill this area in. Uh, Doki, and we should be able to see 256 stress units off of each one of these. So now we should be able to hook up. Uh, you can go there. Need to get our to there actually we need the gearboxes got a vertical gearbox on me pop a vertical gearbox on you a regular gearbox on you and some shafts is this going to be spinning the right way is it spinning the right way yes and it pulled out the thingy my bot excellent and yes it's slow but hey de ho right so now we just need to also um let's see will this be spinning the right way i think that's going to be spinning the wrong way at a guess so if we put a gearbox there and now you're spinning the right way awesome and then to get this one spinning, I might just put a water wheel underneath here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I put a water wheel here, like that, and a bucket of water, which we don't have on, of course. Oh, of course, I've lost my infinite supply, haven't I? Because I dug it all out. Quickly redo that. Infinite supply of water coming. Promise. Um, pop you there. You can go there. We want a vertical gearbox on there. I want you to face this way. You're going the wrong way. If I put a gearbox there, shaft there, and a shaft there. Oh, right now we just need to connect up this oh that's annoying um i wanted that to be in the middle but it doesn't matter because i can change the configuration so let's send all of this stuff to back to there so the configuration that one is going to actually be in from pushing out because that's the right yeah and the front of this one is there so this is going to insert from the as well as from the top but we're not going to do that yet and you are going to in from which way is the front of this one so you are going to be in from the 
left and out to the right so that's taken everything from that chest into this excellent okay so you're now in from the top in from the top and out to that side you are in from the right and out to the bottom and you are in from the top out to the front so now if i connect you up i say in from the top uh, okay so you're not coming down up to the bottom and now we have cobblestone moving along and it should go in here here comes the cobblestone yes 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 okay all right now we want to see if there's some andesite in here yet not yet so let's get some andesite on this conveyor belt uh, let's take some andesite and i want to see the andesite not go in there but go into the end one so i think i can just throw it on there and it separates them it's very clever so we should see the andesite not go in there's andesite and it passes excellent go in this one yes aha success but right, i'm just gonna help it clear out the backlog so i should be able to put a load of that in there a load of that in there and clearing out more of these chests excellent this is awesome this is awesome it's episode two where we've got auto sorting of our of us i think it's amazing uh we've got enough space for the cobblestone we have and the andesite lovely and this chest no i don't that's going to go on the conveyor belt isn't it if i do that do we do we do let's put you in make more sense this is epic absolutely epic now it's not quick enough these things aren't quick enough i can see i can tell already that that is going to start to backlog in in these chests but you know what that's all right for now that's absolutely all right for now i can cope with that we are getting there we're actually getting organized in episode two i can't believe it and i'm going to call it there for this episode we have done so much again so much progression so quickly i love this pack i'm really enjoying playing it hopefully you're enjoying it too and i'll catch you in the next one